Hey everyone, Dark Toy Lord here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at this Star Wars Rogue One Imperial Hover Tank Driver. This is part of the Big Figs toy line by Jack Specific. Real quick, we'll take a look at the packaging first. Uh, here you have the Star Wars logo. There's a Death Trooper there in the front with some, uh, not a, not ADAS. I think they're ATCRTs maybe. Uh, anyhow, let's spin it around. Back. We have a picture of the action figure there. Features seven points of articulation, stands 18 inches tall, and a blaster is included. So let's go ahead, get this opened up, and we'll take a closer look at the figure itself. Okay, so here we have a close-up of the tank driver's blaster rifle. Now, one thing I like about these figures is, uh, even with the accessories, Jax does not skimp on the detail. A lot of detail went into this. Uh, over the other side. Just yeah, all the detail here in the barrel, the handle, into the stock. Um, yeah, real nice work. This is a dark, dark gray, and there's some speckles of letter gray in there. And uh, even again with the detail, they didn't have to do this. They could have all gone with just one color, but they went and added a strip of red paint right here, as well as the opposite side. Not exactly sure what that section of the gun is, but. It just, uh, it's nice that they went in there and they added that detail when they didn't have to. So as you can see, the hands, both hands are molded so either one can hold his blaster. Uh, typically, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm right-handed so my figures tend to be right-handed as well. I'm gonna go ahead and mix things up a little bit and I'm gonna make this guy left-handed. All right, so there's a blaster. It, fits pretty firmly in his hand, so there's no risk of this just plopping out unexpectedly. All right, so we're just gonna do a quick height check. And true to their word, this figure comes in at 18 inches tall. Quick display of the articulation, the seven points of articulation. So starting with his head, move side to side up and down at the shoulders, both wrists swivel, 360. And the legs go up and down at the hips. So just in my opinion, I'm a little bit on the fence when it comes to this design. Um, I saw him in the movie and I didn't think much of it then. I, you know, it was just really in the tank, didn't get a, a great look at him. But now that I have the toy, uh, from the side, the helmet looks great. Uh, three quarter view, still looking good. But when you look at the character head on, just the design of the helmet seems, I don't know, it seems a little off to me. Uh, maybe it's too tall or too skinny, I'm not quite sure, but just, just something does not sit well with me. Again, three-quarter view, side view, awesome. Front, not so awesome. Uh, in regards to material, it feels like, you know, the helmet's still kind of like a, a soft rubbery material. Uh, the visor, looks like the short trooper, a lot of flex and give in that. So it's not rigid, it's not gonna snap on you. And uh, it's just definitely more of a harder plastic. You get down to the belt, it's the same rubbery material that's used in the, the visor there. Uh, so it's not gonna restrict the movement of the legs. So this figure is the, uh, a remold of the Shore Trooper. So let's bring him in here for a side-by-side. -side. Uh, see the differences would be the waist belt area as well as the helmet. Um, but the torsos, the arms, uh, the legs, that's all the same. Let's go ahead and get a 360 view of the figure. I'll try to get as much of the toy in view as possible. So again, Jack Specifics does not disappoint with their Big Figs toy line. Uh, definitely recommend getting this to add to your collection. 
Uh, besides the uh, design of the helmet, which is not Jax's fault, um, I think this would be... So I'll say he's like a 9 out of 10 just because of the, the helmet. But the easy fix for that, I'm going to have him look into the toy to his left or right. Uh, and, and there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. As always, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.